Hi students. So now we are going to discuss about section formula in the coordinate geometry. Section formula in the coordinate geometry. Let me see section formula. Section formula. What is the meaning of section formula? Sectioning. What is the meaning of sectioning? So suppose we are not handling the large data. We are not handling the large data. So to handling the data in a easy way, we are going to sectioning or dividing. Sectioning is nothing but dividing. Sectioning means dividing. So suppose here in this uh, chapter, what is the sectioning means? So dividing the given line segment is dividing into so two parts or three parts or four parts depends depends upon sectioning points. So let me consider suppose. Let me consider A and B is a line segment joining points A x1 y1 and B x2 y2. So we know that in our coordinate geometry every point is a two dimensional one is x value another one is y value. So now we are going to sectioning. So A x1 y1 and B x2 y2 are any two line segment joining points. To make this line segment into two parts, to divide the line segment into two parts, we are going to consider a point P. We are going to consider a point P x comma y x comma y. That point P x comma y. That means unknown point. This is a known point. X one one and x two y two are known points. That's the reason why we are taking uh, suffix one one and two two. That means first point known point and second known point. This is unknown point. That's the reason why we are taking as x comma y. So an unknown point will divides will sectioning the given line segment joining points A x one y one and B x two y two in the ratio of m one. M1 is to M2. M1 is to M2. So now, so the formula P of x comma y internally P of x comma y is equals to M1 x2 plus M2 x1 by M1 plus M2 comma M1 y2 plus M2 y1 by M1 plus M2. So this is a formula. We have to prove this formula now. We have to prove this formula. So one second we are going to uh, define. So what is the section formula? Section formula is nothing but if any point which divides the given line segment into two sections. So that is in the ratio of M1 is to M2. So if the point is internally. So what is the internal sectioning points formula? P of x comma y is equals to m1 x2 plus m2 x1 by m1 plus m2 simply m1 x2 plus m2 x1 by m1 plus m2 m1 y2 plus m2 y1 by m1 plus m2 like this we can find so now how to prove this section formula we have to learn in this video right how to prove the section formula now here is let me see so prove let p of x comma y divides divides the given line segment joining points given line segment joining points joining points a x1 y1 and b x2 y2 in the ratio of in the ratio of m1 is to m2 internally internally is p of x comma y is equals to m1 x2 plus m2 x1 by m1 plus m2 m1 y2 plus m2 y1 by m1 plus m2 so this is a statement so to prove this statement so we need to consider we need to consider a cartesian plane we need to consider a cartesian plane so that cartesian plane also we are going to consider only positive axis so we are going to only positive axis this is Cartesian plane 
so this is x axis and this is y axis this is x dash and this is y dash so let me draw one line so one line a b line this is a b line a a this line is x1 y1 this point is x2 y2 so we know that any point p p divides p this is x comma y this is x comma y let me consider the line segment on the cartesian plane cartesian plane so now a x1 y1 and b x2 y2 and p x comma y will divide the in the ratio of this is m1 into m2 m1 is to m2 ratio now if you draw if you draw a line normal to the x axis if a line drawn the projection of the point the point projection the projection of the point where exactly lies on x axis here so if you take this a p b you can see this is a m a m line and if you take this is this projection also this point projection on x axis n this point projection also oh so projection must be 90 degrees 90 degrees this is 90 degrees now let me take this is o q this is q q so o is origin no? that's the reason why we are taking o so now what is the distance between om om distance is om distance is x1 okay om distance is x1 om distance is x1 next what is om distance om distance is x om distance is x then what about o b distance oq distance oq distance is x2 x2 now mn distance how much what is the mn distance what is the mn distance so mn distance is equals to total x minus x1 becomes x minus x1 this is x minus x1 distance so now what is the oq distance is x2 then on distance is x then what about nq distance nq distance is equals to x2 minus x x2 minus x then so if you draw a perpendicular from here to pn so if you draw a perpendicular from here to qb the distance here is the, the suppose mn q q r this is r and this is s we are taken r and s points r and s points so now this x minus x1 distance is equal to this x minus x1 distance this x2 minus x distance is equal to this x2 minus x distance okay so now we confirmed that there are two triangles right angle triangles that is a r p right angle triangle and p s d right angle triangle there are two right angle triangles existed two right angle triangles now consider proof okay. consider consider triangle a r p a r p and triangle p s b p s b e two triangles when you consider the two triangles angle r is equals to angle s here angle r is equals to angle s angle r is equals to because it is 90 degrees perpendicular this is 90 degrees because it is perpendicular then if you consider this is a transversal and these two lines are parallel because two normals the same line is parallel to each other so this is considered now this angle is equal to this angle because corresponding angles corresponding angles that means so this is angle p is equal to angle b so this is corresponding angles corresponding angles so from a a similarity rule a, a angle angle similarity similarity rule angle angle similarity rule both the triangles are similar triangle a r p is similar to triangle p s b when two triangles are similar 
then their corresponding sides are same ratio or proportional corresponding sides are proportional what are the corresponding sides ap and pb corresponding sides ar and ps corresponding sides now therefore ap by pb is equals to ar by ps this is corresponding sides corresponding sides so corresponding sides of similar triangles are proportional or in same ratio then what about ap ap is equals to m1 by bp is equals to m2 that is equals to you can take it as a r ar is equals to ar is equals to x minus x1 by this is x2 minus x so one of the important one of the important formula we got here is m1 is to m2 is equals to x minus x1 is to x2 minus x very very important formula whenever we have to find the ratio whenever we have to find the ratio if you know only the x coordinates so we are using this formula the ratio m1 is to m2 internally is equals to x minus x1 is to x2 minus x important formula we have derived so this is sub product sub product now so main we have to do the, we will do the cross multiplication m1 into x2 minus x is equals to m2 into x minus x1 so m1 x2 minus m1 x is equals to m2 x minus m2 x1 so we have to use this one so take um, x values one side x values one side so this is m2 x here x m1 x so take this side this is m1 x2 m2 x1 take this side so we have transposing to lhs side big minus term becomes plus term plus m2 x1 is equals to so take this is a minus term take this side this is plus m1 x plus so remaining term m2 x so this is m1 x2 plus m2 x1 is equals to take x as common m1 plus m2 but we need to find x value because x coordinate what is x coordinate value x coordinate value this one we need to find x coordinate that's the reason why keep x here then transpose this value here multiplication becomes division this is m1 x2 plus m2 x1 by m1 plus m2 that is equals to x now we got x coordinate value x coordinate value so in the same way similarly we can find y coordinate value also y coordinate values so to find y coordinate values so we need to draw here the projection of line on y axis so i am taken the projection of lines on x axis that's the reason why i got x coordinate values Now students you have to verify you have to verify so projection of points on y axis then we can get y coordinate value in the same way y coordinate value so how the y coordinate value will be here is so we are using this ratio to y coordinate value we can get m1 is to m2 is equals to y minus y1 is to y2 minus y y2 minus y so you use this ratio so you can get you can simplify this one you have to derive this one if you know how to derive this formula so it is very easy to solve any type of question regarding this formula regarding this formula okay students if you have any doubts regarding this so you can you can uh, uh, give a message to me or you can respond on the com comment box i will try to rectify all your doubts so regarding this topic okay thank you thank you very much